Okay, so now we're going to talk about reading and interpreting our line plots. So I actually have a new one here. I have one that I labeled like I had gone around and found things that were different colors in my house. So my O stood for orange, my B stood for blue, my P stood for pink, my Y stood for yellow, and my R stood for red. But that's not really the super important part right now. We are going to learn how to compare and read our line plots. So one of the first things that we learn to do with line plots is figure out which of mine had the most. So which line on here had the most? Well, that's really easy to find out because obviously the one that had the most is going to be the tallest. So if I look at my line plot here, I'm going to look and my red is the tallest. So my one labeled with an R that stood for red is my tallest and it has one, two, three, four, five X's. So I'm going to circle that because it is my tallest and has my most in it. And then I want to know what has the least in it. Well, obviously, if my one that has the most in it is the tallest, my one that has the least in it is going to be my shortest. So looking at it here, I look and I realize that B, which stood for blue, is the shortest because it only has one X. So that's going to be my least. So I'm going to put a square around that one. And then I want to look and I want to find out if any of them have the same number of X's. So the same number. Now those two are going to be the same height. So we know B and R don't have the same because they're my least and my most. So let's look at the other ones. Now these are all really close to the same height, but these two are slightly shorter. But I'm going to count just to make sure. So the O that stood for orange has one, two, three X's. The P that stood for pink has one, two, three X's. So I know those two are the same. So I'm going to put a line on top of them so I know that they're the same. Now let's count this one just to make sure it's not also the same. So I have one, two, three, four here. Well, four is not the same as three and three. So I know that these two are the only two that have the exact same number. Now, another thing I can do is I can find out the total number of things I had. So to find out the total, I want to count all of the X's in my line plot. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to start over here. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I have 16 total items on my line plot. Now, I want you to do this with the line plots you created from our last video where you were pulling items and counting them and making a line plot. Do this with yours. Circle your largest number, put a box around your smallest, and put lines over your ones that have the same. And then put your total number up here on top. And maybe if you have helpers at home, you can get them to make a line plot for you and then you can do this part about comparing and reading it. So just get creative, have fun, and I'm glad we got to learn about line plots.